Hi, it's me, Josephine, and today I'm explaining you a really quick theme I had a lot of questions about, and I am very happy to have now this knowledge so I can share it with you. It is about wool. Which wool should you get? There's so many different kinds of wool out there and it depends on what do you want to do with the wool and are you vegan or are you okay with using wool from animals? So this right now here, what I'm showing here, is wool from llamas, what are living very close to us and it's a very nice llama farm where they live very happy and I know their names. <laughs> so I really know the names of these llamas. So. I get asked a lot from vegan people who really are into Waldorf, what should they buy? Because if they want to do things like crafting where they felt or where they fill up animals they make, what kind of wool should they buy? Should they buy this polyester wool? And I personally would say, no, please don't. Try other things. There are options like cotton and bamboo wool, what you can find. You don't have to buy blends. I know on Amazon you will find a lot of blends, but it's the same with the real wool. You will mostly find blends. It's easier if you just look at the whole internet than Amazon, because Amazon does not have there so many options, and it's also not the best place to buy things if you want to be eco-friendly. For the vegans, really, I highly recommend to buy cotton or to buy bamboo. There's really a lot out there and you can use it for felting and you can use it for filling. Depending on what exactly is your wish to do, I'm sure you can also do things like spinning with that. And for the ones who are not vegan, you can use, of course, the wool from a sheep or from a llama or from an alpaca or whatever. And you can even use the wool from a bunny or a dog. You might have a dog at home and free wool. <laughs> what are the differences? The difference is that the wool from a sheep, it has the lanolin inside, which is very great to heal. So if your child has a red butt or something, it is really great to put there some of the sheep wool with the lanolin on top and it will heal pretty fast and make sure nothing is wet and will make sure that everything is constantly dry and can breathe well and heal very fast and it is also really great for many other things like if you want to dye wool because the most llamas i've seen personally are not completely white and they are this is just a part of one the most of the animal was brown and dark so i do have a lot of dark wool but i have only this little bit of white White wool and if you want to dye it you just need to have white wool because you usually don't want to bleach it first what destroys the wool and is very bad for the environment but it is easier to dye without the lanolin inside because the lanolin of course that's a fat what keeps everything away so it has its pros and its cons i think it's just what do you prefer but those animals the llamas they love to be very very dirty they roll through the dirt the same like dogs they just roll through it and they get so dirty and it is very hard to clean this wool but if you buy it already the way it is then it is pretty nice because it is so much softer and if you would like to do some clothing then the wool of llamas they will keep you way warmer than the wool of a sheep because the hair is actually empty inside the straw and that is why it is able to keep you warmer and it's also softer but it is a lot of cleaning and even after i cleaned it i constantly see something like here this little thing <sighs> It's just very dirty, very, very dirty. And the wool of animals like bunnies is very, very soft, but it flies all around. And it is kind of tricky to make sure that it stays where you want to have it. I personally think that sheep wool is one of the easiest ones to work with, but I also really like the wool of the llamas. It just really depends on what you want to do. And I hope that this video was a help for you to decide which kind of wool is the right one for you. And I wish you a beautiful day and I see you in my next video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if it was a help for you this helps my channel so much 
and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more of those videos and hit the notification bell. Goodbye, have a beautiful time!